Hello, hope you all are good. Now, let us understand treatment of salary, treatment of rent and treatment of interest on loan. Now first, salary. Now, salary to a partner. What are the general entries? Salary is an expense for the firm. Salary to partner is an expense for the firm. And it is an income for partners. Therefore, salary to the partner is an expense and if the expense is increased, it is debited. Also, it is an income for the partners. Therefore, partner's capital will increase. As capital increase, it is credited. Therefore, to A's capital, to B's capital account or current account as the case may be. Now, at the end of the year, this salary is transferred to an account known as PNL appropriation account because this is not a normal salary. It is a salary which is given to the partners. Therefore, profit and loss appropriation account debit and partner's salary is transfer to profit and loss appropriation account now what is the calculation for salary there are simple calculations for salary for example a to get a salary of rupees 10000 per month now the amount of salary is 10000 per month how many months in a year into 12 Therefore, one lakh twenty thousand rupees of salary. Now, another question can be like: B to get a salary of rupees ten thousand rupees per quarter. Now, in this case, ten thousand rupees into four equals to. 40,000 rupees. So there is not much that you need to understand about the concept of salary. Now, the next thing is rent to partner. Now you all should know that rent to partner on this property and interest on loan are similar concept. Both of these concepts rent to a partner on a property given by him to the firm and interest on loan in these cases in both these cases partners are treated as third party and paid on priority basis therefore their expenses will not be transferred to profit and loss appropriation rather they will be transferred to profit and loss account okay so for rent to a partner rent is an expense for the firm rent account debit to the person who has provided the property to A's capital. If A has given the property, then A's capital will be credited, increased. Okay. Now, at the end of year, this expense is treated as a indirect expense. Indirect expense. And you all know that you have studied in 11th class that all the indirect expenses comes on the debit side of profit and loss account. Therefore, profit and loss account debit so this rent is transferred to profit and loss account. At the end of the year, each and every item relating to expenses and income is transferred to profit and loss account. If it is direct, then it is transferred to trading account. And if it is indirect, then it is transferred to profit and loss account. Okay. But if they are related to partners, then it is transferred to profit and loss appropriation account. There are two exceptions. 
One is rent on partner's property and interest on partner's loan. In this case, these two items are related to partners but are shown in the profit and loss account because in this case, they both are treated as third parties. Now, let us move for interest on partner's loan. You all know that in the absence of partnership deal, interest on partner's loan is at the rate of 6% per annum minimum. That in any case, partners will be given at least 6% interest per annum on the loan and advances provided to the firm beside the capitals. Okay. Now entry, interest on partner's loan account to partner's loan account. Interest on partner's loan is an expense which will be debited and it is an income for the partner who has given loan therefore credited. Now as interest on partner's loan is an expense for the firm therefore it will be transferred to profit and loss account. Okay. Now interest on partner's loan is transferred to profit and loss account. Rent is transferred to profit and loss account. but you need to know that partner's salary is an appropriation, therefore it will be transferred to profit and loss appropriation account. Like you have studied in case of commission to a partner, interest on capital of partners and interest on drawings. Okay. Now let us do a comprehensive question on the topics that we have covered till now in which specifically salary, rent and interest on loan have been discussed. Okay. From the following particulars of partners, Adib and Akshat, who were sharing profits equally, prepare profit and loss appropriation account and capital account. Now, what are the particulars given? We will discuss the question and side by side we will put the items where they relate to capital, opening capital, Adib and Akshat by balance brought down. 1 lakh rupees and 50,000 rupees. Now, if there is increase in capital, it is credited. There is decrease in capital, it is debited. The next item, drawings. Drawings is per month. Drawings is per month. So, drawings. Drawings deduct the capital. Now, drawings reduce the capital. Drawings. Now, 700 rupees drawings into 12 okay and other 800 rupees into 12 now it comes 8400 and it comes 9600 now salary of a partner Adib to get a salary of 1000 per month salary by profit and loss appropriation account Salary. Salary is given from PL appropriation account. Now, how much is a salary? 1000 per month. Therefore, 12,000. And 4000 per quarter. Means there are 4 quarter. Therefore, 4000 into 4. 16,000. Let me do the calculation here. 1000 into 12. And 4000 into 4. Okay. Now, we have to prepare two accounts. Profit and loss appropriation account and partner's capital account. So, this salary have been transferred from profit and loss appropriation account. Therefore, to partner's capital account salary Adib 12,000 and Akshat 16,000 which totaled to 28,000 ok now next item loan to firm at the rate of 10% per annum 50,000 and 80,000 these loan will be shown in balance sheet we don't have to prepare balance sheet in this question there is an interest of 10 percent 
Now, let us read the rest of the question. Rent on partner property is 3000 per month. Profit before considering any of the above item. It is written that profit is before considering any of the above items. These items are not considered and the profit is 3 lakh. Means none of the item has been deducted from 3 lakh or none of the item is added in this 3 lakh. It is the profit from which no adjustment has been made. Therefore, the adjustment of loan to firm and rent of a partners are also not adjusted from this profit. Also, the rate of interest on capital and drawings. Interest on capital is 10% and interest on drawings is 20%. Now, the profit is 3 lakh. So, in this case, by net profit. Net profit is 3 lakh rupees. Now, loan to the firm by the partner is 50,000. And 10% of 50,000 is 5,000 rupees. It has not been deducted, now it will be deducted. See, loan by a partner to the firm is an indirect help. In this case, partners are treated as third party. So, the interest on loan is treated as an indirect expense. So, loan is 50,000, 10% of 50,000 is 5,000 rupees. Okay, loan given by Akshat is 80,000. 10% of 80,000 is 8,000 rupees. It should have been deducted from profit and loss account and question is saying that they are not deducted because profit before considering any of the above items was 3 lakh. So we know that 5000 and 8000 the interest on partners loan have not been deducted till now. Therefore we have deducted. Now rent on partner property is 3000 per month given by Adi. So this is also an indirect expense and it will be deducted from profit and loss account. It has not been deducted from profit and loss account. Therefore, we will be deducting it right here from the net profit. Now, 3000 rent per month for 12 months, 36,000 of rent. Therefore, minus 36,000. Now, 36,000, 36 plus 5, 41, 41 plus 8, 49, 3 lakh minus 49,000 comes 2 lakh 51,000. Now this is the correct profit. Now the rent will be included in Adib's capital. So by rent account, this has come from profit and loss account. 36,000 rupees. Now, interest on capital is 10% per annum. Therefore, 2 partners capital account interest on capital Adib and Akshat 1 lakh rupees 10% of 1 lakh 10,000 rupees. 50,000 rupees. 10% of 50,000. 5,000. Total 15,000. Now, it has been transferred to partner's capital account. So, interest on capital 10,000 rupees and 5,000 rupees. Okay. And the last item is 20% per annum of interest on drawings. Now, drawings are 8400 and 9600. Let us calculate interest on drawings. Now here, Adib drawings are every month on the first day of every month and Akshats are on the last day of every month. Therefore, average period will be calculated. Now, average period calculation will be period left after first drawing is 12 months and period left after last drawing is 1 month divided by 2 comes 13 by 2 equals to 
6.5 months and the average period for akshat is akshat draws on the last day of every month there for after first drawing period left is 11 months and after last drawing period left is 0 divided by 2 there comes 11 by 2 5.5 months so we know the average period now apply that Adib's drawings are 8400 and Akshat's are 9600 into rate is 20% into average period is 6.5 by 12 here it is 5.5 by 12 now after calculation answer comes at 910 and 880 rupees okay now it will be shown at two places one at one on the credit side Adeem Akshat 910880 Okay and on the debit side as interest on drawings reduce the capital Now let us do the totaling 09732 okay 252790 now 28 and 15 43 43 deduct 43 from 252790 we get profit which will be transferred to partners capital account To capital account of Adi and Akshat. Now, after calculation, two zero nine seven nine zero two lakh nine thousand seven hundred ninety. Now, it will be distributed equally. It will be distributed equally amongst the partners. So, divide by two. Two ones are two. Two zeros are zero. Two fours are eight. 2 8 is 16, 2 9 is 18, and 2 5 is 10. Therefore, 1 lakh 4895 to both the partners. Now, these profits will be transferred to partners' capital account by PNL appropriation account profits. Profits are 1 lakh 4895 rupees. 1 lakh 4895 rupees. Now the question is almost complete. Let us do the totaling. Now after calculation, answer comes to 262895 and 175895. Now Totaling of credit side is more, so the same will be written here. Now let us deduct them, then the closing balance will be. Deduct them and the answer comes to 2,53,000. 585 and 1,65,450 Okay, the question is complete. I know it is a typical question, but you can watch again and again till you get the concept. And if you find any problem in this question, please feel free to ask queries in the comment section of this video. I will solve your problems in the comment section only. Thank you.